Hello everybody and welcome to another shader graph tutorial. In this tutorial we are going to look at these, uh, well basically a shader that have a random color. So basically all of these have the same material and for uh, my situation I have it such that it changes based on the X and oops, the Z axis. And this is going to be a quick one. Uh, I'm not going to show you how to do it from scratch, but uh, I'm going to show you the whole thing, the whole graph made already, because it's very simple. So we, uh, I'm using this random range node, which based on the seed, it will generate a random value base between the minimum and the maximum, right? Um, and it's by default zero to one, which is what we want. And what we want to connect is the X and the Z of the position of the object and not the position node because the position node will give you a different value for each pixel as far as I understand which will give you a random color for each pixel of that uh, mesh which is not what you want uh, so use the object node get the position get the X and Z uh, position form a vector 2 and we are just gonna add the seed value which uh, changing it would just change the seed, right? And uh, just add that and then connect it to the random node, which then goes to this sample gradient to the time of it, uh, which is basically, uh, I guess this is zero and this is one or the other way around, and connect that to the albedo. It's as easy as that. You can obviously use fixed, which would, uh, based on the value, it would pick um, one of these colors and you will have something like this. So there is no range between the colors, it's, it's fixed. Yeah. Uh, you can also make it such that it's kind of a gradient you can say so basically you can use a uh, gradient noise use that as the UV well that's wrong um, we are going to use oh yeah actually that's 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 correct yeah so we are going to unwrap based on the X and Y, uh, the X and Z value uh, and then connect that here and let's save that and take a look actually we can uh, we can see this much better using blend so save that go out go back to here and you should see I guess that the, the size is very small um, going back here Let's create vector one, uh, noise scale, and let's default it to what? 50, or actually to one, and use that. Let's save, go back, and Yeah. So now you can see this. Gradient of um, the noise, basically. You can use different scale. I guess that's a bit much. Yeah, <clears throat> and that's about it. So thank you so much for watching and consider to hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna support me, check the links uh, of my assets. The link links are in the description and have a nice one.